Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. Hi, I'm Jack Berry. I'm at the Michigan Golf Hall of Fame, and I'm with Bud Stevens, who is one of the great players in Michigan golf and a member of the Golf Hall of Fame. Uh, Bud's career started as a nine-year-old caddy. Now, how on earth could a nine-year-old get employed as a caddy at Plum Hollow? Well, I started there, oh, oh Sam, I mean, uh, Jimmy Namera was the pro, and it was, it was quite an experience. Bill Uslack was the caddy master, and the, my brother and I started, he was two years older than myself, and they just took us. <laughs> and there was a group there at that time, they were from uh, Amtramic, and they sort of ran the caddy ranks, and we had to pay protection if we wanted to caddy. <laughs> What was the protection? Well, it was like 10 cents a round, something like that. <laughs> well, guys, what, what, what did you get paid for a round in those days? Well, I think we were getting about a buck 10. Wow. So, uh, and that uh, paid for your college career and all the, all the rest of it, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was very fortunate to get a caddy scholarship from the West Golf Association. Now, uh, now, you started at the uh, school in Ann, Ann Arbor, is yes. that correct, for a couple of years? I was there for two years and transferred up to Michigan State and was the first uh, president of the chapter there. That's, uh, that was in about what year was that? 1953. Okay. And then uh, you started uh, playing in like the uh, local events? Uh, what, what was your career like after, after your graduation from Michigan State? Uh, I went into the service, and I played in the Army golf team. And I, I spent two years with Chi-Chi Rodriguez. And Chi -Chi <laughs> what, was, what was that like? Oh, it was great. It was watching him putt and whatever and drive the ball. But he did not make our golf team. Uh, we had, uh, well, there were six guys in the team that represented uh, Fort Sill, and Chi-Chi didn't make it. He didn't make the team? Yeah. <laughs> Who was the coach of that? <laughs> well, it was qualified. You had to qualify. Oh, okay. He didn't make it. Ah, man. No, it's, uh, he certainly has been one of the more entertaining players uh, oh, yes. once he got on the, on the tour. Uh, Double Eagle once up, up at uh, Warwick Hills that they kind of uh, uh, disregarded. I think it happened during the rain. Uh, he lost out on that in the rain, but I always thought that uh, Chi Chi was one of, one of the funny ones. Yeah, he was. And, uh, now, could you hit it farther than, than Chi Chi in those days? Well, I think I could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, what was uh, what was your average driving distance? Well, in those days, I probably was right around 280, somewhere in there. Occasionally, you'd hit 300, but that was with the persimmon type woods and whatever. And the golf balls are not uh, quite what they are today. No, no, they're balada. <laughs> okay. Now, what do you do? How do you do today? Today, I'm, I'm probably hitting it oh, in the 245, 250 range. Are you playing much these days? Oh, yeah, I play yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. You live on a golf course, is that correct? I live on one here and one down in Savannah, Georgia. I live in a place, co uh, a place called The Landings. It's Kittaway oh, Island. Right. Yeah. We have six golf courses. Uh, last week, I played in the Pro-Am down here. In the first nine holes, I made six birdies. Wow. <laughs> you haven't lost anything. <laughs> but not only was the, the long driver of, of the time uh, when I was covering golf and covering him, but he also had a beautiful wedge game. I mean, he hit it so far that he used that wedge a lot, right? That's correct. <laughs> that was quite an advantage in those days. <laughs> well, I think it still is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tell a little bit, uh, you won three Michigan amateurs. I won Michigan Amateur Championships and lost in the finals in two other times, both in overtime matches, once to Mike Andonian and once to Dan Pohl. Yeah, and the Dan Pohl one, was the, that was the matchup of the two biggest hitters in the state. What was, what was, that, what was that like? They were, I think Dan's uh, following was a little, kind of a little boisterous. <laughs> it, was, it was, but uh, he was very nice. His gallery was a little... Yeah. Uh, his brother especially. Yes. <laughs> but uh, it was fun. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, that went to the uh, 20th hole, and um, it was really it was the first time that uh, Dan Pohl's name was heard about uh, in, in Michigan golf. Uh, he was more of a baseball player at the time. 
I, I said after I lost him in the interview, I, he was probably the best player I had ever played in the state amateur. And uh, I think it held out that was pretty true. Yeah, Dan, Dan won twice himself and, and uh, did pretty well uh, uh, in the pro career. Now what, uh, uh, of, of all those tournaments that you won, of the three the Michigan amateurs, what was the, say, the one shot that you think of the most, or what was the one you enjoyed the most from that time? Well, the one I enjoyed most, I think, was the match playing Dan Pohl. Uh, if you remember uh, the Belvedere Country Club, the 16th hole, uh, I was one down playing that particular hole, and Dan almost drove that green. I hit it over the green and chipped it back in the hole and won the hole. The next hole, 17, par three, I hit the ball about five feet from the hole and he hit it over the green. He chipped it back in the <laughs> hole and I missed the putt. And then I won the 18th hole to get back to even. And then I hit it over the first green under that second tee. And if you, well, I'm sure no, you know, no. it was almost impossible to get up and down from there. Right, and right. I did. Then we tied the, or I three putted the next hole to lose one. And 20th hole. Well, you also went to the uh, final of the uh, United States uh, Senior Amateur. Was that correct? Yes, I did. What was that experience like? Yeah, it was fun, but I mean, it was it was 36 holes round matches for the last two days, and I think I was a little exhausted going, to the, and I think I lost something like five and four in the, the finals. What uh, uh, talk about in your earlier uh, time? What club? You belong to uh, Washtenaw Country Club, is that correct? I was at Western Golf Club for 17 years and transferred up, and I've been at Washtenaw for a little over 30 years. That's a long time. <laughs> what do you like about that course? Oh, it's a great golf course. People think it's an easy course, but it's, it's quite testy. And Randy, who you will talk to yep. shortly, will attest to that, I'm sure. What's your best round there? Uh, probably 66. And par is? Uh, 72. That's not bad. Did you get six birdies in a hurry there, too? <laughs> no, well, <laughs> I had a round when I was probably 67, 68, where I, I think I birdied 7, 8, par 9, birdied 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. <laughs> and ended up shooting 67 on that round. Well, that's, that's pretty fabulous. Uh, what the... Uh, what kind of handicap do you have now? Are you a, a plus two? Or no, something? I'm a four <laughs> handicap right now. <laughs> well, that's terrific, and I'm, I'm glad you're still playing a lot and having a good time down there in uh, Savannah, Georgia, playing okay. down there. We've been talking with uh, Bud Stevens, who is one of the all-time great players in the state and uh, winner of the three Michigan amateurs, and just he was always a delightful to watch the way he could hit that ball. <laughs> Thanks very Thank much, you, Bud. Jack. Yeah.